Yeah, that's not fun. Ah, oh, crap, he's figuring it out. A gearhead is born. Ah! sometime in the middle of February Tony gave me a call and told me that it's time to come up and get fitted for the seat um, essentially to make sure that it's positioned exactly where I need it to be and that the steering wheel is a good distance away from me and also he was gonna show me some of the progress already done on the car so essentially what that meant was driving up from SoCal to NorCal for about five minutes worth of seat fitting but to be honest I thought it was going to be absolutely worth it, especially knowing that the seat is finally going to be where I wanted it to be. Upon arrival, Tony greeted me, set up the seat in the car. I got in for about 20 seconds. That's all it took for him to make some marks and um, tell me exactly where it's gonna sit. And I figured it was a perfect location. And after which I got back in the car and drove right back to SoCal. Roaster Cup prep. A track day coming up tomorrow. My first one in a year and some odd months, if not two years actually. And yes, I'm taking a black Miata. For now. It's freezing, I just wanted to show this shirt off. God dang. Oh. The purpose behind going to Roaster Cup in the Black Miata was twofold. In order to qualify to drive an advanced event, such as Pike's Peak, I needed some driving practice. At this time I haven't driven on the racetrack in almost three years due to some setbacks from my health. Even though I wasn't going in the Piñata, it was still beneficial for me to just get back on the racetrack and see where my skills are sitting. The real test would be with the Piñata at the Alpha Club event, um, Time Attack School, while Roaster Cup events before that will serve as a great way for me to dust off my mad techniques. The second purpose was to have a car to compare the Red Miata to since the NB is a faster car when compared stock for stock. Now I have no doubt that the NA will be the faster car with the recent weight reduction, chassis stiffening, widened track and the improved suspension. But let's face it, having some sort of a benchmark is way better than having no benchmarks at all. The prep involved changing out the oil and filter, checking the spark plugs, changing the rubber brake lines in favor of stainless steel braided ones, and flushing out the brake system. Now the black Miata is pretty rough on the outside, but it is relatively well taken care of mechanically. The most recent modifications involve the Eibach coilover kit, which is essentially just a KWV1 damper set, with some very oddly sized 2.35 um, ID Eibach springs. Hawk HP Plus pads with uh, stop tech slotted rotors. Um, it's also got a hard dog double diagonal roll bar, a nice set of tire rack motorsports wheels wrapped in now outdated 808R Yokohama rubber, 
and it also has LRB speed under tray, which, mind you, I like very much, and little did I know, it was going to come in pretty handy at the track day. This time I had no idea what the car drove like at a racetrack, and the only time I had a chance to really throw it around was at an autocross event many years ago. So a lot of the events that are to unfold at the racetrack were just as much of a surprise to me as it may be for you for whatever reason. I'll come down, I'll come down. <laughs> She's adorable. Ah. Ah. Covered his lover. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, okay. Jerry, you need help landing? No, I can do that. Okay, that's f***ing insane. <laughs> that's freaking sick! It's freaking hilarious, man. I'm not a serious dude. <laughs> I'm just here to have fun. Oh yeah, man. Hey man, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Plus, a lot of those aero freaking air dams are ugly as hell. Dude, with 220 wheel, that's insane. That's a badass looking car. How much power is this thing put now? 320. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 128 flats, 04 on Friday. Um, Holy shit. I get the 126, 99, 98. That's the, that's the Miata record, I think, here. I think. <laughs> I want you to crush it so bad. Oh, me too. I just, you need to get it. Well, I went out, like I said, I went out for the 128 conditions at the end of the day. 
it was windy, the track was slow. I think you're going to be able to get it. I think so too. I think you can do it. And I just, I'm hoping, um... I'm just glad you decided to take my advice and go up to the 1510s. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. Uh, oh no, there's no. Th th this thing is sick. And the rear wing, I took the wing off the Atom. Yeah. Oh, it's a beast. world of difference. Yeah, world. Of, the car is great. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of you know, just doing it. I was flat all the way from six through nine, and you, I have the telemetry turning into turn eight at like one thirty-five. Jesus. So Jesus. scary. It's, I'm, I don't have that type of ball. I, I want to do two laps and go home. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like freaking out because this thing's bouncing all over the place at like a buck. Oh, two. Is that a like, God, you know, I'm turning in and just like this, it's just like almost closing my eyes. It's terrifying. I don't know how you jink her, like you would dart around somewhere like that, Steve. I would stick up his You got it. You just have to have another one and a brick when you just pop off the throttle. Oh. Check, get your weight transfer, tuck in, and go. I just, um, it was a good, I mean, I had 328s. I did the 28, like an 004, like a yeah. point ten. I was close. I'm just crossing my fingers. I can get clean track. I can be in front of the running yes. room. Just which one to go with? I'll go with Roadster Cup or go with the Advance? Roadster Cup's purple. Jeez, I don't know. I don't know what to do. After a quick pressure check, it was time to get on the track. Throughout the day, I had a few offs, but the biggest issues I had were in turns 3, 4, and 5. For whatever reason, the car wanted to swing its tail out, and I had to position it very carefully through these turns, sometimes missing the apex in favor of not having to scrub speed. Most times, if I got 3 right, I would lose it in 4. If I got 4 right, I would lose it in 5. Sometimes, I would get lucky and just nail all 3. The biggest heart attack moment came when I was coming out of 8 and going into 9 and triple digits. I was doing well in 9 before this so I wanted to try something different, only to take the wrong line and almost lose the car in what's supposed to be the scariest section of the track. That's downright scary is what that is. Throughout the day I managed to get a couple of clean laps, putting down the fastest, fastest time of 144 and some odd. Four seconds behind Brandon Lee Morris who won enthusiast class that day. Everyone in Roaster Cup jumped on the opportunity to help me get faster including Brandon, Jerry, Jeff and Hanno. Throughout the day I cut something like 7 or 8 seconds of time which was good but just not enough.
there were two mechanical issues that transpired after that last run. The first one was something I was very well aware of since I had to be towed back to the paddock and that was a slave cylinder bolt coming out of the gearbox, forcing the slave to point upwards, which resulted in me losing the ability to move the car. I used whatever tools I had and even came up with a new purpose for the torque wrench. The guys at Roaster Cup, Brandon and his crew again came to lend me a hand, however the fix was very easy and I managed to take care of it in no time, but it was great knowing that there was a supportive crew behind me, that even though they had their own problems to deal with, they had no problem coming up to me and helping me out with my own car. The second issue had a very obvious symptom, the car had overheated earlier, for whatever reason I did not bother to check to see if the belts were all there. I only discovered this on the way out of the track because the car overheated again. At this point we parked on the roadside, Pops and I went to the local parts store, bought a new water pump belt and he and I fixed it on the side of the road. After that long day all I wanted was to open up a cold beer and to get some rest. <laughs> 